What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here and I'm back for a KDP keyword video and in this video we're going to check out the month of August so we're going to see what August has in store for us. I'm sure you can make some predictions. I certainly can make some predictions about August so I'm super fired up for this video. I hope you are. Let's do this. All right, so it's been a while and we're back to keywords. I promised you guys I was going to be doing more of these keyword videos and here we go. So this is the report that we've got for the month of August and chances are it's back to school season, right? So we're going to see a lot of back to school and there's no surprise. Backpack is at the top of the heap. And incidentally, this is how I got my very first start on Amazon. I used to sell back to school supplies and I would bundle them and do all the kind of things that they're telling you to do on YouTube more than likely, but it works. I certainly can attest to that. Now let's see what we've got in store. Obviously a lot of stuff for school, so let's see if there's any notebooks, journals, things of that nature, and or some t-shirts that we might send the kids back to sporting. You never know what we can send those little rugrats back to school in. So let's see what's popping here. And then in a minute, here we go, pencil pouch, lunchbox. We already started off with the school supply stuff. You can see just how excited I got about that. Flashback to the kind of crap I used to sell. Jansport backpack. Uh, let's see what else we pop up here. School supplies, well, not a surprise. And that's why I said that journals and notebooks will be hot. So we'll take a look at those individually here at the end of our search. We'll look at about the first couple hundred and see what pops up. Uh, so a lot of school supply stuff, press on nails, which uh, funny enough, one of my girlfriends found one of those on her boyfriend's rug. Happy days, right? Uh, and she certainly doesn't wear press on nails. Uh, so what does that tell you guys and girls? A jewelry organizer. All right, and I kind of lost jewelry organizer, dog food. Oh, you know, what, what are moms shopping for other than school supplies? Dildos. Dildos are always at the top of the charts. So there's the dildos. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Backpack for school. Uh, you know, not really too much other than school supplies. I'm not surprised. Sex toys. Again, those crazy moms, I'm telling you. We never can tell what those ladies are going to look up except for dildos. They're always going to search their dildos. Dog toys, luggage, tote bag, Pokemon cards. Um, not too much popping in terms of notebooks yet. And my guess is we're going to really have to just search in the notebook section. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to look at the top 300. There's really nothing that stands out. Paw Patrol. Uh, one of the nice things about things like this is if you are out there selling school supplies, if you pay close attention to what the big brands or the big labels or the big personal type brands, which are like Paw Patrol and Hello Kitty, and things like that, then you can certainly get an idea for what kind of school supplies to be focusing on if you are doing retail arbitrage with school supplies involved. But um, Halloween is already popping. You notice it's number 243 and we're just at mid-August. So that's a pretty good indication of how strong Halloween's gonna be. So you should already be prepping for Halloween, whether you're doing t-shirts and or notebooks and or any type of uh, selling on Amazon birthday gifts for women. Here's graphic tees for women, which is always up at the top. So uh, people are always buying t-shirts. That's the bottom line. If you can come up with enough good designs, it's basically a game of numbers. And again, if you can even get approved for merch, because lately from what I hear in all the comments, it's a pain in the ass to get approved for that. So we're going to go to about number 300. Here we got school backpack, colored pencils, North Face backpack, and uh, a lot of stuff for school in particular hand sanitizer which always goes good for school let's go ahead and now search for notebook specifically so i'm going to go ahead and put notebook and then i'm going to hit apply and see what comes back for most recent searches now remember i'm looking at the weekly only because i wanted to get as good a data for august but if i could i would go back the entire month and that will possibly forecast what will be hot in august but we're not going to see what's truly hot in August until the end of August when we will be able to backtrack and look at the monthly data. But this is good enough for now. Let's see what kind of notebook, if any, themes are popping right now. A graph paper notebook, primary composition notebook. Right here, these are all the very general terms that are going to be very impossible to rank for, so I certainly wouldn't recommend those. Where I'd start paying attention is ones that have four words in them. College ruled composition notebook. That still is something that would be very competitive to get ranked for. So I'm going to be paying close attention to where we get into things like, I'm not sure what a kokoyu, I am not even pronouncing, I know I'm butchering that. I, I apologize to anybody that's Japanese or is a fan of anime i'm guessing but i have no idea what the hell that says i'm not even gonna try it again because uh it's i'm gonna get tongue twisted and i'm gonna f it up that's for sure uh, let's see what else we got graphing notebook binder notebook 
pay close attention, marble composition notebook wide rule. So even though this is talking about those notebooks that have like that little fuzzy thing on it, uh, here's Japanese notebook is up here, which is the same thing as Kokoyu, which I'm still wondering what the hell that is. Marble composition notebook was what we were talking about before I saw a squirrel and I started to pay close attention to that little guy on a calculator. Hello Kitty notebook, we can't do that. A smart notebook, well thank God there's a smart notebook out there. Heaven forbid that was a dumb notebook. Imagine getting your kid a dumb notebook. Now they've definitely got excuses for getting that C in their English class of all subjects. What else do we see here? Grid paper notebook, mead composition. Let's go ahead and scroll it down some because a lot of these are still very broad. So let's go over the 100 mark and see what kind of things we're seeing. Here we go. Here's a lot better things. Laboratory notebook. Homies notebook collection, no idea what that is, but you know, rolling with the homies. I suppose people still say that. I've not said that in a very long time. Cat notebook, large notebook, vintage notebook, which would help you get artistic with something if you want. Midori notebook, I have no idea what that is, but I do know that they have a Midori sour, which is a drink, which goes to show you how much I'm thinking about drinking instead of this particular activity that I'm doing right now. So I, I think I probably drank too much. I'm going nuts now. Professional notebook, green composition notebook, notebook with folder, moleskin notebook, which I think is a brand. Red notebook, uh, this unicorn notebook, which is notebook gamer, which is pretty interesting. Red spiral notebook. A lot of people looking for red and pink, which tells me that it's for girls. UB notebook, no idea what that is. Handy dandy notebook. I guess you could just call something a handy dandy notebook. I don't know if that's trademarked. I would look that up before I actually did it. Let's see if we see Korean notebook. I'm not sure what that is. Here's another homie notebook. So homie must be something that's pretty popular right now. I have no idea what the hell that is. I would certainly look it up. Let's see what else we've got here. Dot notebook. Portfolio notebook, college rule notebook, pastel composition notebook. Let's scroll it down even further. Boho notebook. No idea what that is. I think that's a hobo look or at least I'm thinking of hobos because I just wrote an email about a hobo. Uh, let's see. Single subject, five star, top bound dinosaur notebook. There's a good one. Pokemon composition notebook. We can't do that. Black marble composition notebook. Wide ruled 100 pages now. If that wasn't a long tail keyword, I don't know what is folks, but that certainly is something that I might go for if I've got a black marble composition notebook that was wide ruled in 100 pages. It might be a good one to try and rank for. Computation notebook, erasable notebook, which aren't they all erasable? I, did I perhaps miss out on something? Well, now that's what happens when my computer's now going bananas. So my computer didn't like what I was saying. Let's go back and search for another topic since my computer hates what I'm writing and see what pops up here for this keyword. I'm gonna pick journal as if you couldn't tell or you couldn't see. And now it fixes itself for journal. This is fantastic. Uh, journal loves me as does sweet baby Jesus. Both incidentally love me very much. Pregnancy journal, prayer journal for women, dotted journal, nerdy journal, fitness journal. I'm going through these as slowly as I can so you guys can jot some of these down. Now, I wouldn't, if, if you're looking at these and you're trying to figure out some ideas for what to make, these are clearly very hot, but I wouldn't use this as a keyword. I might use it as one general keyword, but I might niche them down even further. So we'll see here if I can show you an example. Let me go ahead and jump into an example of that. That's what we'll spend the rest of the time doing. I'm gonna go to look at this tarot journal. So let's go to look at tarot, and that's probably a bad one. In fact, I'm probably getting guessing that it is a bad one because I don't think there'd be many more breakdowns of the tarot journal, but there are. See, check it out. This is what I'm talking about. I would try and break this down even further. Think of more keywords related to that one journal where you can make it a lot wider. And what I mean by that is multiple keywords. So tarot journal has two keywords in the term in general, but tarot journal notebook has three and tarot journal for beginners has three and tarot journal, oh, that's four. Tarot journal for beginners. One, two, three, four. Duh. So yeah, I know how to count people. Four keywords on that one. And then tarot car journal has three. So that's what I mean by niche it down even further. Let's take one final example of something that's a lot wider. Let's put women's journal and see what pops up. Let's put kids journal because we're talking about school and see what pops up. Here we go, boom. Here we go, here's a nice little batch of them, 35 keywords that will relate all to journal. Look at this real long tail one, Big Life Journal for Kids, ages seven to 10. And that's probably a brand, but Reading Journal for Kids, Draw and Write Journal for Kids, K to two. Sermon Notes Journal for Kids, Three Minute Gratitude Journal for Kids, One Question a Day Journal for Kids, 
Hiking Journal for Kids, My Reading Adventures, a book journal for kids, a journal book for kids, Summer Journal for Kids, Christian Gratitude Journal for Kids. If that wasn't a tongue twister, I don't know what was, but there you have it. That is my quick breakdown of the hot words for August. Hopefully this helps you make some better products for August and for beyond. Halloween is coming. Make sure you prep for that. Other than that, questions and comments below. I always personally answer them, and I'm glad to be back on the keyword wrap-up for the month. Peace out.